Attributes that can be semantically enriched are indicated with a question mark over the icon that identifies the data type for the column in the Attributes pane. Create a time hierarchy for the transaction date time to attribute. Note that a time hierarchy has automatically been created in the Attributes pane. Review the values in the new columns. There are now columns for year, quarter, month, and day. Visualize the data from the hierarchy. Instead of viewing these values as they contribute to the whole, as in this donut chart, view the same values over time. First, change the chart type to a line chart. Change the chart so that product categories are represented as colors and the time hierarchy is displayed on the main axis. The chart now displays purchases by product category from 2012 to 2013. The values have gone down significantly because only data from the first three months of 2013 is available. Change the level of the hierarchy to display data by month. The values are now broken down to a more meaningful level. Save your changes to both the visualization and the document. You have successfully created a time hierarchy in a dataset. This is the end of the tutorial.